Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a quick how to play and full playthrough of Genotype by Genius Games. This is actually a really fun game. You do not need to know anything about um, genes and traits and um, they do use this game, I think, in school settings. Mm -hmm. And I can see how it would be fun if you were taking a science class to play a game to kind of ingrain how the genes and um, traits mix together. But again, you do not need to know any of that to play this game. It's really fun. It's basically a worker placement, point salad type game. And we really had, there's a lot of options to gain points. We really enjoy these type mm -hmm. games. Um, I'm just going to quickly, briefly overview. They are some really good in-depth how to play videos out there. So, um, but watching us play and giving you a little in-depth should get you started because the rule book's very good. Um, we just played while we learned while we were reading. You just have to read like, you know, the setup and we just kind of went through it and learned as we played. So it was, it's, in my opinion, fairly easy to pick up, especially if you if you played games for a while. Um, the mechanics are similar, so you can kind of pick up games quicker. So um, basically, every player starts out with their choice of color of three shovels and three research markers. And basically, the shovels are your workers, that's your actions. You start with three. You do have up to five available that you can purchase during the research upgrade phase right here. Um, everyone starts out with one coin. You also start out with two pea plant cards and one tool card. Um, actually, you're dealt three pea plant cards, it's hard to say. You keep one in your hand, put one on your garden plot, and you discard the third one. So your garden plots are the main way to score points, basically the only way, right, to score yeah. points. <laughs> um, you have two plots to start with, and you can purchase more plots here from the research upgrades. Also, there are, I think, tool... Is there tool cards that give you extra plots? I can't remember. Yeah, you remember I had the um, the pot. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's also tool cards that give you an extra plot space. It's a temporary, it's a one-time use. But if you purchase anything from the research upgrade, that's a permanent upgrade. You could also purchase the dye, um, extra dye. Offspring research? Um, up here. Yeah. You can extra dials, blah, die spaces. Um, you can also use one of your actions to get a temporary die slot here because you get three by default, but the more dice you can pull during the plant, I think it's called the plant breeding phase. Is that what it's called? I'm not good at, yeah, plant breeding phase. Um, the better because you're trying to basically mark off traits. And when you've marked off and validated all the traits on your pink plant card. Each time you validate one, you put this, the little trait markers on there. During the gardening phase, you can harvest that, put that in your completed pea plant stack. You want to put them face down so you, they, your opponents don't really know how many points you have. And then you can sow another one right after to start um, validating the traits. So obviously the more pea plants you have early in the game and the more dice you can get in the game, the more pea plants you're going to be able to harvest. So um, the first phase, there's three phases. You play over five rounds and three phases in each round. Um, he's showing you the track, the round tracker. Um, so at the end of each round, you just move that up one. Also, uh, the, also, at the end of the game, if you have um, pretty much the, uh, what are they called, the leaves? Pretty much the where, you can, where you can harvest at the end of the game. Yeah. So. Yeah, so don't worry if you miss out on the gardening phase and you have one of your garden plots completed at the end of round five. It allows you to harvest, and it does tell you up there you can harvest 
any that you already have fully completed. You can't add any more traits, but you, if you have it fully completed, you can harvest it at the end of the game. The other way to get points, which is very minute, um, for each coin you have left as a point, and for each trait marker that you have on an incompleted pea plant, you get one for that as well. Um, other than that, the pea plants are the way to get points in this game. Um, so you first, first you have your action phase, and there's many different actions that you can do. Those are um, shown by your actions or your shovels. Um, as you can see, all these little shovels on the board, each of those shovels is something that you can do by placing your action marker on it. Um, so the only one you can't do during the worker phase is the research upgrades. This is its own phase in itself. So, and there's no shovels here. You don't, um, these shovels here is used to get you more coins. In a two player game, you can't play on this one. It says four plus players, that's four plus players. Anything that's four plus can only, you can only use that space during a four player game. So we can only, we only have one option to get coins. So if I place my shovel here, during the action phase, I can get two coins. Coins are very helpful because in the third phase of each round, you get to spend whatever coins you've gained to get upgrades. Those upgrades are very helpful. New plot, if you buy a new plot, there you go, you have an extra uh, pea plant plot. If you buy the dice, you have an extra permanent dice. There's no limit how many you can purchase. As long as you have enough coins, and there's no limit to, we forgot to pull these out, to the number of assistants. You can purchase assistants. Um, those are pretty powerful. They give you special abilities and you switch those out every round. So there's always three to choose from. You can only choose from the three that are up. Um, so let's go over your actions. I'll start from the left and go over. If you put a shovel here, this means you can, what are these called? Again, gene tiles. You can change the gene tile to your favor. So as you can see by default, it's a large T, little T, large T, little T there. So you'll notice the two small letters in each one, there's only one chance to roll the dice to get that trait, which is the four. Whereas the most common is the large T, little t, if you roll a two or a three, you, will get, you can get the t, big T, little t. The large T, large T, if you roll a one, you only have one chance as well to get that one if you roll a one. So you can up the odds. Say you want to, you need the large T, large t. So if you place your shovel there, Put this, and you can see it's two-sided. It has two little T's on one side, two large T's on the other. So if you're looking for, like my trait actually, I need two little T's. So say I want to up my odds there. I'm gonna put the two little T's. So now if I roll a two, or not me, if a two or a four is rolled, which is pretty common, um, that gives me double the chances to get a dice there to be able to take that dice and validate that trait. Um, the only way to remove these once it's been placed, another person or you has to place their worker there to remove it. You cannot put your uh, worker there and just flip it over. You have to actually put it there and remove it and then take an additional turn to place it back with whichever side you prefer. You can also, Say I want it to stay like that. I don't want Anthony to get on there, remove it or change it. Next turn, I can just put my worker there again and just not change anything. It keeps, it blocks him from removing that. So it's the same for all the colors. Wherever you place your um, worker shovel is where you can manipulate and put those gene tiles. Also, you get to take the coin that's here if there's a coin there, if you place um, the shovel there. If no one's taken the coin on this, on these yet, and you happen to place your shovel here, 
You can also take the coin there if there's a coin there. These are replenished at the beginning of each round. There's only one per round, so the person that either puts a worker there or there gets that coin. If no one takes it, no one gets it. Okay, so this here, these are all first shift, which means you get first dibs on any die in this color set. And these are all the T's. Um, so we're going to be rolling these dice, there's five, and be placing them in the correct slots based on which number they correspond with. So if I place my shovel there, I get first dibs on any die there. If I place it there, first dibs there, I get to take the coin um, there, same there. If no one places theirs on first shift, no big deal. Um, it goes to second shift. If you place it here, you are you get first dibs on any of the dice from any color. And then if Anthony placed his there, it just goes in order. If no one places theirs on first or second shift, it then just goes by whoever has the shovel as first player. So then it just goes in order by first player. There is a assistant card that allowed Anthony to be first every time, forever, <laughs> on second shift. So there's a lot of helpful abilities that you get from the tools and the assistants. They're very helpful. There's the father to help me. <laughs> okay, another thing you could do for your action, there's a lot of actions you can do. And again, it doesn't matter. You just have, you're only limited by the number of shovels you have. The set, the research goal. As you can see, there's two little coins down here. The first person to do it, it costs two coins. The second person to do it, it costs three coins to do this action. So it's a shovel action and coins. So if you put your action, your little action shovel there, you get to place one of your research markers on any of these little circles here. And what those mean, for every TT you have on your completed pea plant, you'll get three additional points at the end of the game. So that's another way to get bonus <clears throat> points on the pea plants that you've completed. Only on the ones you've completed, not the ones in your garden plots or in your hand. So you might want to wait mid-game to see which ones you've completed before you right. actually do that. Because you can look through your pile anytime, and that's what I did. I just looked through and seen what I had the most of. The little letters are three points each. These two, you can see it's in between these two, so it's um, either or. You get two points each. So technically, if you think about it, can you score? I didn't read that. Can you score on both? Like for each TT and big T, little T, you get two points? That's what it oh, looks like. Yeah, they're connected. So technically, you could get, if I'm correct, you could get more points that way. Because we didn't actually... Yeah, they're connected. I went for the three-point ones. Yeah, I went through it for three points, not realizing that they, these are interconnected. But oh, okay. So during each game scoring, Brandy will earn two points each for a completed pea pants, pea, pea plant, pea pants, <laughs> with an R R or R little R. Yeah, so they're interconnected. The two here, these two, these two, these two. So you can't two. gain for both, like for one plant. You couldn't, like, if this happened to have TT and a big T, little t, you couldn't gain it twice on the same card, but it gives you more options because most of the cards have one or the, one or the other. So actually, those might be better to go for if you have pea plants with a lot of those instead. Plus, it would be, probably be more beneficial on the early games as opposed to the mid games where you would just... Limit yourself to the to that one. And there's only one research marker per space there, so first come, first serve. Okay, the other thing you can do is put your worker here, and you can take any tool card that's face up or one from the tool the tool deck. And I think it is one card, right? Yeah, it's one card. Because on the this one you draw two. I just want to make sure I'm telling them right. And they get replenished. Uh, and removed pretty much at the end of the round, so. Yeah, it's one, and you have your choice between drawing random or one that's face up. On the nursery, it's two cards. You get you can draw from the deck, anything that's face up. You do not replenish these during the round. So these or the tool cards or the assistants. So if we happen to take all three of these 
um, during the round, then whoever, if you want to draw another card, it has to be random. So that's um, another option. You can put your shovel there for that or shovel here for this. You can also garden, which is on your actual player board, and that's where you're harvesting, hopefully. So first you draw a tool card or a pea plant. You can see the card right there. Then you can harvest anything that you have completed. If you have any open uh, garden plots, you can place your pea plants on any open, all of them that are open if you have enough pea plant cards. Um, you can put your shovel here to gain a temporary extra die slot. And the, there's two more things you can do during the action. Like I said, there's a lot of actions you can choose from. I've mentioned this before. You can go to the treasury, gain two coins. Last thing, you can go here and you can see there's coins. First player to, to do this action pays one coin plus their action to be able to validate any trait. Doesn't matter. They get a trait marker and they can choose any trait on one of their pea plants. Second person to do that would have to pay two coins. They can do the same action. So that's all your actions during the action phase. Then um, you go to your plant breeding phase, and that's where we will be choosing our dice. So we would be, I'm just going to put them in place here. These will always be at the very end. Yeah, fours are always here, twos and threes are always here, ones awesome. are always here. And the de novo mutation dice, if you happen to roll that, you've got to re-roll it. If you roll it again, it goes in this space. That one can be used um, technically as a wild, um, or you can gain a coin from it. So if you happen to take this dice, you could put it in an empty dice slot. You have to grab another and dice you can slot. Not to grab a coin, oh, and you okay. can take one coin. Or if you want to validate a trait, the only downfall of this is it takes two dice slots to do it, but you would do this if you really needed something. Say I really, I need these two T's and there wasn't anything, in, there wasn't a dice in there. So I could take this de novo dice and any dice in that color, it doesn't matter, put them in two empty dice slots and then I can validate any trait on this card within that letter. It has to be the T's. It can't be any trait. So I validated that trait. Am I right on that, on the de novo, or it could be any trait? No. Yeah, be... any trait of that dice color. Just wanna make sure. <laughs> so you have to stick with the same color set and it could be any, any of the T's. Um, and that's the same for all the colors. So we'll take turns um, first shift gets first dibs, second shift gets first dibs after that, and then it goes by player order. So we'll just take turns picking dice and validating traits until no one has any more open dice slots. Um, you can't take a dice if you cannot use it for a trait. Um, when that phase is over, then we go to the research upgrades. That's the third phase of the round. And that's when you can use any coins you have to purchase a new plot, dice slot, action marker, or higher assistant. And the action markers, these are the ones that are for sale. And the max you can have is five. There's no limit to the number of cards in your hand. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and then these do go down. It's almost better to wait <laughs> to the second round to buy something because at the end of each round, these the uh, markers on the back us goes down by one. This is the starting location of them. So they go down by one notch. So if we don't buy anything this round and wait till next round, there'll be three items that only cost one coin. So um, kind of depends on what you're going for. I know there's only five rounds. So you do have to kind of progress quickly, but at the same time, you've got to, you don't get that many coins. So you kind of kind of make them make them last. And then that would be the end of the round. You go to uh, use the round tracker, move it to round two. You do the cleanup phase where you remove all the remaining plant cards or pea plant cards, the tools and the assistants, and you deal out the more based on the player count. This is for a two player game. So it's more cards when you have more players. 
and then you just start over the next round. So I'm the first player, so we need to roll the dice first. So now we get to play. Okay, and then we're just going to place these in their spots, and this gets faster as you do it more and more. <laughs> Okay, I need to re-roll these. Oh, wow, I re-rolled this. Oh, no, this was a two. If you re-roll a de novo, it's the only way you can put it in that spot. Otherwise, it has to go in whatever you re-roll. So these are very handy. Did you re-roll this already? Yep. Oh, you did? Yep. Wow. I had originally three. Okay. So as you can see, there's a... The middle ones are always full. <laughs> these two, it's kind of hit or miss. Okay. So I get to choose my action first. So since I'm the first before the coin, coin is taken, I get to take that coin and I get first dibs on those colored dice. Okay, in my last one, I'm going to take a tool card and a, this pollen brush is a really good card to have. Basically, it paints identical traits. So if I had several plot cards here, I'm just going to put them up here for now. And it's a one-time use. Yes, these are all one-time use. So you can see I have two large, two capital Fs. This one's not a very good, oh, this one is a good example. I have three of them that have oh, the yeah. two little T's. So if I play this, and you play these when you need them. If I play this when I'm validating a trait, so say I have the, the dice to validate my two little T's, I'll be able to validate every pea plant that has the two little T's in one swoop. So this pollen brush is an amazing card. And there's also a, um, Oh, An assistant that does that as well. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, let's see. That, that doesn't have the RR I need. So, and I grab two. Yeah, he's just getting two coins. So, that's the end of the worker phase. So, now we're on the um, plant breeding phase. So, we'll start. No one took first shift there. So, Anthony gets to choose. What do you want there? I am choosing this one so I can validate my little G's. Okay, you're next. You are. Ah. And you didn't grab your, uh, the dice. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, you did. <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, so. Okay, so no one took second shift, so it's now up to the first player to go next. So. Okay, I'm done. None of the dice are beneficial to me. Okay. And none of them are... You can't play one? Nope. Okay. None of them are beneficial to you. So I'm going to take this and just grab a coin. Since none of them can be used to... I don't have enough die slots to use that and additional. So at least I got an additional coin. Okay. So now it's um, on to the research upgrade phase. So I get first dibs. If I want to purchase something. I think I'm going to make up the price for Anthony. And get an additional die slot. It goes up as soon as you purchase one. So it will cost him three to purchase one. 
Okay, so. And you go and order one at a time. So I can, if I had enough coins, I could purchase another upgrade. Isn't this a negative one for any assistance? Yeah, my, no, minus one on anything that you have to pay coins for. Yeah, so. Okay. But you can't pay any less than one coin. Huh. This will help me out early in the game. He's hiring that assistant. Okay, I don't have enough to purchase anything else, so I'm done. Okay. You purchasing anything? Um. I will purchase another uh, dice slot. Okay. It cost me three. So now that's up to four. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the research phase, end of the round. So each of these go down by one. We clean these up and replenish. And these cards are all covered in detail in the book. I'll just explain them as we use them. We'll explain to you what they are. Ooh, Father, the infinite one. Okay. Now the first player token goes to Anthony. And we gather back our workers. And we are on round two. And we replenish any coins that I've been taken. Okay, so. Oh, we need to roll the dice. Mm -hmm. Did you re-roll those? Yep. The Denobos? Yep. Okay. It's weird I never see you re-rolled. <laughs> okay. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, skipping <laughs> <the> face. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get my stuff quick. <laughs> Actually, I already grabbed the coin. Oh, actually, I still can't grab the coin. Okay. It's your turn. Yeah, hold on. So I made this to where the two little T's are now either a two or a four. So I moved that dice over. I want to get to take the coin. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best uh, point solid games we've played. It flows very smoothly. Okay. All right, so we've both used our workers. So I get to go first. Yeah. Oh, I never did put these back from last time. Sorry. I think that's a change. That would have changed what I did, but that's what I get. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Yeah. I'm on green. Yeah, I wouldn't needed to use my shovel there. No, oh, I'll see what you're doing. Okay. Okay, so um, now we're on the second shift. I think it's to choose first. Grab this for a coin. Okay. And I'm going to grab this one for a coin. Okay. Now that's, we're done 
Oh, actually, too bad. Oh, if there was another de novo dice, I could have done it again. So I can't use that spot right now. Um, so now that's the end of the worker or the plant breeding phase. Now we go to the research upgrades. And first, so I will pick. Uh, these rounds go quick, so um, what does this guy do? He's a flower pot, an extra plot. Okay, yeah, that's infinite. Well, that's what well, What's his name? Father Edward. Oh, Edward. That's Ed Edward. Who's Edward? There's no W. It's weird as it's brother Edward on here, not father. <laughs> so, but it's the same spot. So it's a permanent extra plot. I'm gonna get that. With its own pea plant that automatically refills. When the assistant is hired, immediately take one pea plant, the pea plant from the face up options or from the top of the deck. When the pea plant is harvested, take it all. So you continually take a free pea plant from okay. here to put on top of him. You put it on him right away. So when you harvest that one, you do the same thing. You take one from here or here. So it's a constant, it never, it's never empty. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. a good assistant. Okay, so I'm going to purchase oh. a plot for one. I go for bargain basement prices. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Hey, I won last time doing that approach. Barely. You got to put it up. Okay, so I'll take an action marker. I'm going to see what these assistance do. Did you move it up, the action marker? Yep. No, you didn't. Oh, no, I did Oh, I just realized it did something. I need to take two of my coins back. So remember I have uh, my coin guy? Oh, yeah. So Brother Franz, you have two additional dice slots, but you have to pay one coin to use them for the round. Um, Sister Anna, there's Sister Anna, basically, you can pay one coin per work during the working phase to validate a trait. That's a good one too. That's a really I'm good thinking one. Thinking about getting that one. You have three? Yep. I think I'm gonna grab her. Here's your sister. So she's permanent now, so I need to remember that during the yeah. Okay, so that's it. Are you done purchasing or are you buying more? I'm done. Thanks. I should wait. Let's see. I saw action marker. Yeah, purchase another action marker. Okay. Yeah, that comes um, in handy too. Yeah, I'm getting a little coin back. Okay. Now we move them back by one. We're big spenders this time. We take back all of our action markers. I have five. Yep. All right, we're in round three. And we just finish these. Okay. You're rolling while you're replenishing. And well, do the have, assistance too. You have to do the coins. I know. Okay. Ooh, the second ship one came out. I don't want to do. Let me sure I rolled the ones. Not yet. I'll do it last. Okay, I'm going to roll these. Ooh, rolled it again. Did you roll these? I didn't roll this one, I don't think. Unless you rolled it. I didn't roll it. I rolled the two red. What about this one? Yep, I rolled this one this okay. one. Okay. All right, so I get first player marker. We're all reset. Did you 
chain out all the assistants. Yep. Okay. As a second ship guy. Wow, there's two pollen brushes out there. Okay, so I am going to garden, which means I get to draw a card. I'm going to draw, actually take that pea plant, put these back in the supply, and I have my first completed pea plant that's worth 12 points. I'll put that face down over here, and I immediately get to fill in all my pea plants, and I'm going to put my flower pot down there, so I actually have four plots. Good thing to work on. And I'm going to play this pocket watch. Um, actually, I'll wait. I need to wait to play it. Okay, so I'm, all, I'm done with my first action. First action, get 13 points. Can't let her get two ahead. <laughs> Don't get those mixed up. <laughs> Okay, I get to put my there. You don't have another pea plant card? No. Nope. Forget what's the sea bag do. Um let's see. Seed bag, draw five pea, pea plant cards from the deck, keep two, discard the rest. Alright, I'm gonna do that. So yeah. I could place them. You can't do it till harvest though, or till gardening. It's when you place them. Oh, okay. So I'm done that. So pick five, mm -hmm. draw two. Okay, not the best five that mm -hmm. they'll have to do. Okay. Then I'm gonna play my pocket watch. So I get two coins for the first shift, so I get an additional coin. What I need isn't there. Okay. So I get this coin and I get to take an additional coin. And I can use her. I'm going to pay one of those coins to validate a trait. I'm using one coin because. I have the guy who allows me to do it. And so I'm placing this um, right here. Okay. And he has two more actions after me. Um, he has an additional one, two additionals. I have three. Yeah, but you got two more than me. Yeah. My turn. Mm -hmm. So he has three actions now left. The actions definitely help. At last game, I bought my action markers. There's so much you can do, that, so many ways in this game, so many different things you can do your actions on. It's a hard choice sometimes. Actually, let me see if it's worth it. Actually, no, it's not worth it yet. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so we're now to the worker phase. Um, now we go to first shift, so I get my choice 
Oh, this is TT. You remember you switched it. The twos. There's no twos. But I didn't notice. It's the two. The twos and the fours are TT. Yeah, but this is big T. You don't, there is no big T that could be. Oh, you're right. Oh, it is. I didn't even see that. Good. I, I forgot about that. Okay. okay. Wait, I'm not placing it there now that I realize that. She did that. Quite annoying. I am going to place it. Okay. So I get to go first. I'm using my pollen brush where it copies. Um, and I need the RR. I don't want the TTs. RR. So I get to validate all my big R's, little R's. You're next. Oh, I am. Okay. Um, Okay, my turn. So, G, G, Yes, we need to remember that until someone changes it back, there's gonna be a bunch of little T's. <laughs> okay, so, my turn or mm -hmm. your turn? Your turn, you're first. Okay, so, Might as well take some of these little teas. Okay, so C G F, F. Yeah, big F, no, just little F. Your turn. I can't take any more. I put it on my slots. So I get a coin. Okay. All right. All right. So that's the end of the plant breeding phase. We now go to the research upgrades, and I'm going to purchase another dice slot. Did you move it? Okay, I am going to purchase another dice slot. I only need to pay two. Okay. You do anything else? I can't buy anything else. Okay, I am going to purchase a new plant. Still have to pay one. Okay. And I will purchase. Um, a higher system. You money bags. Actually, I only need to pay one. Actually, no, that, that was right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so he's always first and second shift. Okay, whether he puts anything there or not, doesn't matter. He's considered like he put his shovel there. Okay, so um, we move them all back one. We grab our Action markers. You replenish everything. Okay, did you move the round tracker? No. See, so we're already on round four. Almost done. I feel like I'm behind, but I'm not sure. It's all about the pea plant cards, so I have the advantage I have more of them started. So we'll see. Okay. 
first. I haven't re-rolled anything, so. Wow, there's three in right here. Did you re-roll this one already? Thank you, Debbie's pit there. Uh, I don't think so, no. Well, you I think the green one. Okay. Okay, so big T, little T is one. Big T, little T is threes. Okay. My turn. You. <laughs> you already took the two coins? Yep. Oh, I get an extra coin for that. Forgot. And I get an extra coin for this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and grab the watering funnel. I can validate any, tra you have to do it right away as soon as you receive it, validate any trait. So I'm gonna do Okay, and Anthony's still playing his actions. Ah, uh, still my turn? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everything's pretty much taken. I got two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the end of the working phase. So I get to choose first here, and do the R R. Oh, did I have to pay my one coin? I need to do that. Pay one coin to validate any trait. Do that one. Sorry, did that a little out of turn, but. My turn? Mm hmm. Here, did you do the reds? Not yet. So. Okay. Okay, so. Anthony gets to choose first for second shift. And I get to place one. It's that card. 
What are you talking about? Oh, you don't know. It's when you harvest it. You can't harvest it during this phase. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to put, put your shovel in the gardening. Okay. Bad. <laughs> First, so let's see. You can't go anymore? Mm -hmm. Did well that time. Okay. So that's the end of the plant breeding phase. So now we're on the research upgrades. Yeah, I'm first. So I'm hiring an assistant. What does she do? Looks like she does She's the, pollen the pollen every time. Yep. I don't have to pay for her, do I? Actually, I only have to pay two. Yeah. Okay, grabbing her. Who is she? What's her name? Sister May. Whenever you validate a trait, you may validate every copy. Yep. Wow. Every turn. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy my two action markers. Sister May, my. Is that one more? Oh, I forgot. I need to push that up. Okay. So. We're done? Or are you buying anything? Um, dice slot. Okay. So we were we move all this back one. We're on the last round. There is no um, research upgrades in the final round. So that was last chance to buy any upgrades. Coins. Another. Coins at this point could only be used for research goals and um, validating Andy traits. Do these? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, four. Okay. This messes with you <laughs> with my head. It's ones and threes and then twos and fours here. Yep, you're first. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to harvest or to garden. garden. Get this make it easier for me. Okay. Oh, I don't have any more garden or <laughs> nursery cards. Wait, I'm doing it in a different order. That's not smart. Sorry. Although the odds of finishing more would be. Okay, so I'm actually going to put it here and draw two. I should do the little ones. Okay. Put it here. Your turn. 
Okay, now I'm going to garden. My turn. And let's get this place in. Okay, I'm going to garden. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, I don't have any coins. Never mind. Um well next time. Okay. Yeah, my turn. Now I'm gonna pay my two coins. Put my shovel there. And we'll choose the GG. Do this. And because doesn't that same thing, because I have Sister May, whatever I do, it, it duplicates it. Yeah, if it's the same one. How are you validating traits? I bought a water and funnel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can use them in combination. You can use the tool cards and the assistants in combination. Yep. So I got, so then I have to deal okay. with that. Okay, so I'm gonna place mine here. I get two coins and I'm gonna use her to pay a, pay a coin and I'm gonna validate a trait right now. Um, I need to play in here. That one. Okay. My turn. Last one. this and I'm gonna put this on there. Okay so it's end of the worker phase. Now um, we go to the plant breeding. Anthony gets first choice on the blue. I get first choice on the red which I'm getting if I can finish off this one. I like Sister, Sister May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. Okay, so now. Now um, you get first, first on second shift. So let's see. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite games. I really like this game. I, I really like this game. I had no idea when I saw the name in the box and I knew it was about science. I was like, mm. <laughs> but it's not, it's nothing. I mean, it is about science, but it's your turn. The mechanics are so fun in this game. Okay, so actually, wait, wait, I'm not doing that. Why would I go for a six point? Why could I go for it? So I'm going to add that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I only have four. And okay, you get we'll do it. <laughs> okay. Almost messed myself up. Okay. 
Okay. Your turn. Wait. All right. Let's make sure. Okay. I was seeing if I could stop you. You can't. Okay, your turn. Oh. I can't believe you finished all those. Okay, so that is the end of the plant breeding. We don't have the research upgrade because um, this is the last round. So any that we completed, we can put in our completed pile. And now it shows you in-game scoring. You score for completed pea plant cards, your research goals, um, one point per trademarker, marker, and one point per coin. So all this goes away, okay? So I had some pretty high ones. How many do you have, five? Yeah. But he has more research markers. It's gonna be a close game. Okay, so on my research markers, I got. So. I got nine points. I'm gonna pull out nine coins, make it easier. Oh, uh, for the research ones? Yeah. Because okay. these are one point each. So let's see the TTs I have. Or you can four, do trait markers five. too. I got five. Five, five times what? Two? No, five for. Just the plus ones. How did you get five? They're two points each. Oh, so it's like, like what are you? <laughs> so it's ten actually. Okay. I have... okay. Here, take some of these. Mm. Makes it easier for me. Okay, so wait, I still need the to. The GGs and GG. Which ones do I want? It's so... either or. I know. So it's each card. So if each card has at least one of them, you've got points for it. Yeah, but don't you have to choose either one, what two points per card? Yeah, so. So you have it on. So four. So eight of them, eight points. No, four total. Right, eight two points. Two each. Eight, eight points. Four cards times two. Yeah, but you only have to. You have to. I thought you had to choose GG or or. No, it's either any trait card with either or on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. It's, and then your little R's, how many of those do you have? Oh, so I would have extra two because I have the TT on this one. And then how many RR's do you have? I think R. he beat me, R. little R's. Uh, one, two, two. Okay. Dang, yeah, I think you beat me with your research markers. All right. All right, so now we just count it up. Six. 75. It was the research markers that taught that cinched the game for him. So I got more plot pea plants, but so I thought I had an eight. I thought I had in the bag early on, but him getting that assistant that allowed him to paint pop, paint the traits. Sister May. <laughs> and the uh, research markers cinched it. I think him getting his extra action markers early on is what also cinched the game for him. See, I did that last game and I won the last game. So I think that is the key, obviously having extra oh, actions. These two. And then when you get a chance. And then he also had, he had the, he had the best case scenario because he had the one guy that cost him less coins every time he bought anything. So yeah. that's an advantage. He, Sister May. And then Sister May who paints 
the same traits. And so Father Anton, which let me do second yeah, shift. Yeah, that one's not that great. Ah, but yeah, he had better assistance than me. He definitely dominated this game. But I love this game. Yeah. It is so fun. For me, I think this is probably the best point side game now that we have. Yeah, I love the it's, mechanics of this game. Yeah. And we have more from their collection, don't we? Yeah, we have two more. They sent us three of their games. This Is mm. is this the first time we've played their games? Yeah. Yeah, I really like Genius Games. So okay. I think they're all kind of educational based, mm. but um, the mechanics is what makes them fun. This would be fun to play if you were in a science class. Oh, yeah. Like, it would make learning fun. Yeah. <laughs> but so I think anyone that likes point salad worker placement games should definitely check this out. It's mm -hmm. simple enough to learn, um, but at the same time, there's so many ways to get points. There's so many way, different strategies you can do. It's it's so fun. We yeah. had a blast. It goes yeah. by very fast yeah. to, when you're playing. I don't <laughs> know how long we've actually been playing, but it went by really fast. So we will put the product link in the description. Definitely check this game out. It's a great game. So glad we own this game now. Um, if Please give us a like if you like this video. Definitely subscribe to our channel. We have giveaways every month. We are going to have, we have lots of board games. We're going to give, I'm tongue tied. Lots of board games we are going to be giving away in 2022. I think we already have like seven, don't we? Yeah. So each month. And Actually, then, eight. Oh, we have eight games. They are great games. Great games. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, most of it I think is where we got a second copy, isn't yeah. it? We we lucked up. We'd already bought the games, and then the developers ended up sending us the games to do reviews on. So we have an extra copy. We didn't have even open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it gives us the opportunity to give those games away. We love to give back to our fans. Mm -hmm. So every month, Next year, we will be giving away a game on top of our other giveaways. So stay tuned for that. It's always, you can always find this on our contest page on our website, boardgameempire.co. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time.